WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials down 26, NASDAQ down 5, S&P's flat. Um, bottom line, you got a sideways market out here today. You got light volume, folks. Looks like the market, uh, they're, they're certainly not waiting for the Fed. The Federal Reserve started a meeting today. Come out with a statement tomorrow. Bottom line is that uh, the, the expectation is that the Fed is going to basically stay on hold. Uh, this is the last Federal Reserve meeting of 2019. And, of course, because we're coming into election year next year, bottom line, you know, I don't expect a, a lot of movement in the Fed either up or down uh, without a lot of new information coming out, whether we are going south or north inside the economy. Uh, right now, we take a look at the Fed fund future rate. Uh, bottom line is that, you know, as to an additional uh, probability cut, you don't even, you get to uh, one in June of 2020, um, and that uh, basically is about uh, 32%, 35%, but that's it. So that is saying more than likely we're going to have a flat market out here. What the market is waiting for, though, no doubt, is the Taft issue on Sunday. So we have the Brexit vote on Thursday. The Brexit vote on Thursday, folks. So they're eight hours ahead of us, which you can expect. Let's see. So, yeah. So Thursday, uh, bottom line is that when our markets are open, we're going to get returns in the UK. I expect that's going to move the metals as well as the currencies. Right now, we had the dollar down uh, buck ninety-five today, ninety-seven four forty-nine. The dollar is looking to test 97.107. But the way the dollar is actually trading, I think it's going to break that baby. Why? Because the pound has already broken out. The euro looks like it's on the cusp of breaking out. The euro has been dead meat in a huge way. The euro does start moving after this vote on Thursday. You know, it does, we'll see whether it has a lot to do with the European Union or not. It definitely does. It has to do with the aspect of what are the British going to make trade agreements with the European Union. My take is that, yeah, they're going to have to make agreements, period, everywhere. Guess why, folks? That's like states. They're all states, like, right next to each other, and in their, that, their case, they're just countries. They're going to have to make a deal. State, tomorrow morning, folks, come back, join us, 9 o'clock in the morning. Larry Pesavento kicks us off. Outstanding program. Have a great night, folks. Safe night. We look forward to speaking right back here at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning.